Hello, my name is Ethan Sarwar, and I will be graduating from Vandergrift High School and class of 2024. So, Ethan is graduating from high school. The whole idea is extremely surreal to me. I haven't seen it yet. So, every time I look at you, I think of you like a little baby um, when I first held you. From there to that little mischievous toddler. I'm really excited to go to college at UT Austin in the fall studying under the Polymathic Honors Program of Public Health as well as a minor, a triple minor in Statistics, Epidemiology and Data Science. He was uh, actually a very good kid. Other than not eating too good, uh, he was very creative. He could pick up anything, any music. He was gifted with music since he could talk or, or before he could even talk. He used to tap on the car or he used to like uh, do like snaps uh, in the car even when he was six months old I was pretty amazed so whatever I used to listen to he used to listen and chime in uh, kind of impressioning you know mom and then later on he developed his own musical skill my biggest inspiration has to be Dr. John B. Goodenough he's a Nobel laureate and I did chemistry research under him in the fall of uh, sophomore year he is just such a big inspiration. He is a big, extremely big motivator of the chemistry world and the acad world of academia. My other biggest inspiration is Jasmine Choi. She's a flutist. I play the flute and she was a big catalyst in my flute career throughout my high school years. So that was the very first memory and, uh, of Ethan being so creative. He, at, at pre-K, he used to tell everyone that I'm an artist. So that's what he was. He was going to be an artist. So Ethan, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be an artist. My mama and baba are my biggest childhood inspirations. They've been here for me literally since day one. And I, wouldn't, I don't know what I would do without them as they are the biggest, most kind-hearted. And just honestly, I look up to them so much every day. Um, I truly don't know what I would be here without them. And I love them with the bottom of my heart and I thank them every day for being here with me. So that was the first thing, not a fireman, not a police, not a doctor. So, and then over the years he had developed, you know, he had explored uh, different sports, different skills, different, you know, he took uh, fine arts classes. So you guys probably uh, saw some of his samples of his art artwork. So I think he's extremely creative way more than me and Babu, <laughs> but um, we're just extremely proud of you. I'm really proud of my Bangladeshi community and they have been the truest supporters, tried and true, of me since day one, who we have been our friend group since day one, and they're my best friends forever, and their moms and dads are also my moms and dads, and I, I love them so much. Thank you to all of, all of them who have supported me throughout my years. Um, from middle school, he picked up a uh, band. And I said, why did you pick flute? Uh, because this is the smallest case I have to carry. <laughs> he got into all the instruments. Um, you know, when fifth grade, they try out different uh, instruments. He was offered anything. He could pick anything. Because before that, he used to be very good at piano. So his musical you know, knowledge was amazing. I'd like to thank Dr. Javi and Dr. Kelder for supporting me throughout my chemistry and public health research endeavors. They've been there for me since day one of high school and they've exposed me to the world of academia. I really do thank them for all their support. Thank you guys so much. So uh, one particular thing about Ethan, he's not only, you know, we are parents always, of course, it's our job to encourage him, but he's always encouraging us too. So during COVID era, when I started writing fictions, um, he used to ask me every night, Mama, how many more pages did you write? What did you write? And he used to be my biggest critic. So when I was writing my first uh, thriller, uh, which I did not know it was going to be a book, he basically said, Mama, maybe, maybe you need to fix this. It doesn't make sense. Uh, so he used to be a very strong critic. I would like to do a personal thank you to Mrs. Van Doren, um, who she recently had a baby and she will be retiring or taking sabbatical this year. Um, she has truly been my most supporter since day one of high school and I, would, I don't know what I would do without her. I'm extremely, I, ex I owe everything to her as she was the biggest catalyst in my leadership journey 
and I really just thank her so much. I would like to thank my Nana or Nanu. They've been taking care of me since I was born and I don't know what I would do without them. They're getting older now, but the years that they've taken care of me have never passed and they'll always stay with me for the rest of my life. I love you Nana or Nanu. Bangladeshi community in Austin uh, was extremely easy because we have so many supportive friends, family members, who I think they are my family members, even though they, we are not blood related. And uh, like I said, it was actually a very humbling experience and we had so much support. Ethan was encouraged always and he, they were the biggest cheerleaders. So I thank the whole community. It's not easy to raise a kid uh, alone uh, or as a couple, me and my husband Babu, but the community made it easier much easier for us.